All right, we are back with our weekly vlog. This is Matt with Pro Athlete Advantage, and today's a little bit of a venting session for me, if I'm completely honest. Uh, I have heard a few phrases over the past few weeks, uh, and frankly, over the past few years, that need to be addressed. We have to use these phrases in a much different way and my whole goal is I want you to act differently and use these words differently from here on out. They are, if used incorrectly, absolutely detrimental to team and individual morale. Uh, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So here is the typical situation. There's two phrases that I have heard over and over and over again. And it's typically where you have a coach and a team or if you're in athletics, or you have a boss and employees might be your team as well, but uh, it could happen in a team environment or individually one-on-one. -on -one. And here's how it goes. Here's the two phrases. Boss walks up to employee and says, you need to work harder. If we're going to accomplish this, we have to work harder. Yeah, that's one phrase. The second phrase, same situation, is that boss walks in and says, you need to be a better leader, right? You need to lead these people. Now those phrases at their surface, they're not too bad, right? I believe in hard work, I believe in being a great leader. But in most business and athletic situations, that phrase is the only thing used, and then that coach or boss leaves. So literally, they walk into your office, say, you need to work harder, you need to figure this out, and then they, they turn around and leave. Now if you're anything like me, I get very confused when people use phrases like that. I don't know what that means. Work harder. Okay, see I'm left to my own devices, I'm making up stuff right now. Work harder. Does that mean come in early or stay later? Does that mean maybe I should shorten my lunch break by instead of 60 minutes, 45? Maybe no lunch altogether. Uh, does that mean communicate more with my team? I have no idea what that means, work harder. Same thing with leadership. I want to be a great leader, but if you tell me to be a great leader and walk out the door, I'm like, got me. I have, don't know where to start. I hear those phrases all the time in the workplace and on the athletic field. And what you are doing is setting your employee or athlete up for failure. Because they're going to try things that they think is right instead of having that further conversation with that boss or coach to really dive deep and figure out what does that mean. What are the expectations? What actions do you want me to take? How can I improve coach or boss? And figure out what those action items and steps are to get the intended result that that person is after. That is the key part of this. From here on out, I want you never, ever, ever to tell somebody to work harder or be a better leader without carving out more time to sit with them and come up with that plan of action, to give them context, to give them examples of where perhaps they're going off track and what your expectations are so that you and that person can be fully aligned and marching towards that same goal. Please don't tell anybody to work harder anymore. Please don't tell anyone to be a better leader you have more to offer that person than that. If you hear anybody say that in your workplace, if your boss says that to you, or your coach says that to you, I would ask them for a bit more clarification. I ask them for that time to sit down and go through what exactly that means. That's my venting for today. I would love to hear any comments you have about working harder, about being a better leader down below in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say, so please leave a comment below. And as always, don't hold back.